Hey there everybody and welcome back to the kitchen shop because we are working in my kitchen today. Alright, so this video is going to be the initial video for Pressmaster or whatever we decide to call it in the future, I'm not sure because Pressmaster is a cool name but a lot of people use it. Alright, so what we're going to do today is set this up for the initial setup. Now in most circumstances, you won't have to worry about this because we set it up in advance. Uh, however, sometimes, uh, whatever. In case you ever need to set this up, this is how you set it up. All right, so initial turn on, this is the temperature. I've already been pressing today. All right, so uh, in order to get into the setting, oh, here's the settings. Okay, so you could go ahead and pause on that, print that out, save it, put it in the cloud, wherever you need to have it. Those are the initial settings. And these are just settings to work from. So don't, don't feel free that, or don't feel uh, that you have to use these settings. This is just, you know, what we recommend. This is what works best for us. Okay, so initially, push the set button. You'll get all zeros across. Push the right arrow, and then you'll push the up arrow to uh, navigate the functions. You could also push the down arrow and get similar reaction. All right, so once you have that, the first uh, setting that we're gonna go into is 0001. So once we have that on there, just go ahead and push set. SU should actually mean ST. It refers to the set temperature. So we'll go ahead and push that. 220 is where we feel comfortable. So if it's not already set to 220, just go ahead and move that uh, to the right and push your up and down arrows until you get it to 220. Once it's there, go ahead push set. That uh, locks that temperature in. Now the next one's going to be alarm high. Now you want that right around 300 degrees because you don't want the alarm going off and all the alarm is is a little blinking light over here in the bottom right corner. You don't want the alarm going off in uh, general circumstances because it's annoying. So set it to 300 because you're only setting your press to 220 and so that should never go on. Okay, once that's done, lock that in and then the next one's gonna be alarm low, AL1. So I like to have this one at zero so that when I first turn it on in the morning, the alarm's not going off trying to tell me that the temperature's way too low. So just go ahead, leave that as zeros, push set, lock it in and then push the up arrow again to get to the end button. All right, once you're at the end, push the set, and back to the physical temperature. Uh, you could also set the temperature by just pushing the up arrow. Okay, once it's blinking, that's the set, and then just push the up arrow or the down arrow, and um, there it is. So once it stops blinking, that'll lock in the temperature, and then it'll show you what the physical, actual temperature is. There it is. It's uh, actually 162 degrees right now, but it's set for 221 now, but 220. I think I could push, no, okay. So um, the next part of the setup is gonna be for the PID. Now, uh, don't worry too much about this. Just go ahead and use the settings that we have. We're gonna do 014015 to start. Um, so to actually to get into the setup, we're gonna go 0036, so set, over, over, zero, zero, three, and then over again, six, and then I'm push the set button. P, zero, one point five, okay, perfect. Oops, let's go to I, okay, zero, two, six, four, perfect. Set that, lock it in, and then the D is zero, six, six, perfect. Okay, locking that in, and then I'm going up to the end button, Done. All right, now I'm out of there. Now for the international customers, what you can do to change from Celsius or from Fahrenheit to Celsius, go ahead, push the set button, and then uh, push the right button, and then you're going to do zero zero eight nine. Okay, and then push the set button. You're going to uh, look for the uh, Celsius or Fahrenheit, C or F. Once you find that, go ahead, push set. One is for Fahrenheit, zero is for Celsius. So international guys, you're gonna to wanna to do zero and then push set, and then uh, go ahead and end it. Now we're at Celsius. But since I'm here in uh, the United States, Seattle, Washington to be exact, I'm just gonna go ahead and 
go with what I know best and change that back over to Fahrenheit. All right, and then end out of there. And now you're fully set. Your press is set for 220 degrees Fahrenheit. And if you have any problems, please call me at customer service at domeless.com. My phone number is area code 626-226-7824. That'll get you any type of help that you need for any of the products that we sell. And also, if you're interested in purchasing some of our products, well, you could call that number and get some assistance uh, trying to pick out the best products for your needs. Well, I hope this video helps you out. Uh, it's a pleasure making them for you. Go ahead, like, subscribe, all that stuff, and uh, I'll go ahead and continue to make awesome videos for you guys. Um, I got some spare parts here and whatnot, and uh, if if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you know that I'm working on uh, some more stuff. And, uh, well, there's some of the parts. Uh, I will be making more stuff. So go ahead, follow me. Like, subscribe again, in case you didn't do it the first time. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.